Welcome back. It's movie time and our very own Sean Hobbs tells us what's new from the director's chair. Thanks. Old Ghostface is back. It's time for another big horror sequel. Scream 6 is new in theaters. Hello. Let's play a game. You know you're like the 10th guy to try this, right? Maybe. But there's never been one like me, Gail. In fact, it's Ghostface Takes Manhattan, the slasher action moving to New York City this time. A new killer stalking Jenna Ortega and the other survivors of the previous Scream, as well as Scream vets Courtney Cox and Hayden Panettiere. Same formula, another self-aware meta-horror whodunit comes from the same team who made last year's Scream 5, which I thought was a pretty great reboot of the franchise. This one's fun, too, until the last act, where the usual Scream twists and contrivances, for me, got a little too ridiculous this time. Still a pretty good entry. We've crash-landed on an uncharted planet. There's something out there, something alien. All right, then also in theater, space pilot Adam Driver dodges dinosaurs when he crash lands on a prehistoric Earth in 65, the new sci-fi movie from the writers of A Quiet Place that sadly fails to manage much in the way of thrills. I don't have a girlfriend. Makes sense. Oh, what, am I that bad looking? You know McConaughey. Yeah, then Woody Harrelson headlines the comedy Champions, court ordered to coach a team of intellectually disabled basketball players. That reteams him with Kingpin director Bobby Farrelly. And then to select theaters comes Southern Gospel in Indy about a sin and rock and roller who turns preacher with soap star Max Eric. Well, the Super Bowl is no place for four old women. This could be Tom's last one. <laughs> then you got 80 for Brady going from theaters to premium VOD at home now. Ditto the screen life thriller Missing, Liam Neeson's detective movie Marlowe, and the new Left Behind sequel Rise of the Antichrist. You know what these writings are, don't you? Here I take the power. Then Morgan Freeman and Yellowstone's Cole Hauser hunt a killer in The Ritual Killer. That's new on demand. I need you to be my eyes for me. As is Unseen, in which a woman uses FaceTime to help a stranger escape her killer ex. And Unicorn Wars, an animated import about some bloodthirsty teddy bear soldiers. I was always there for you. Yeah, if by always you mean this call is from a federal prison. And then we go streaming, where Kerry Washington lets her ex-con dad Delroy Lindo move in for Unprisoned, a new show on Hulu. Who also, of course, have Mel Brooks's History of the World Part Two that we talked about last time. Look at me. Nicole, they can't see you. While Paramount Plus premieres the show School Spirits with Cobra Kai's Peyton List as a murdered teenager stuck in a high school afterlife. Okay, yeah, you can dunk. So can a lot of people. You can't. While Disney Plus has the new movie Chang Can Dunk about an Asian American teen who trains at hoops to beat a bully. Pray for mercy from Puss in Boots. And Peacock officially adds the big sequel Puss in Boots, The Last Wish. I am not some cold-blooded psycho. And Netflix not only has more episodes of their Stalker Joe hit you, but also Outlast, a new Alaskan survival competition, the docuseries MH370 about a plane that vanished. I need to stop this man. I'm still a copper. And they have Luther the Fallen Son, Idris Elba, hunting a killer back for a sequel movie to his hit cop series Luther. That's a look at what's new from the director's chair.